four daughters, and they know how much I love to find new things to create as my uh, platform for scrapbooking. And we went to the beach the other time, and they collected these rocks, and they said, Mom, you got to make a scrap your craft out of this. So I thought, oh, great, this is wonderful. And so what I did was I came home, and this is the first one that I created. And it's real fun and easy, and so I was really playing with what is what would adhere to these rocks. So I'm going to show you. And this is just something that you might want to play with or not. And I have here a plain flat base. You see here I have my rock. I'm going to move those out of the way. I just have, all you really need is some glue dots, rub-ons. I have an assortment of rub-ons. Here I have um, two different types of rub-ons by Basic Gray. I have a little bit of uh, body shimmer powder, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that at the end. Some sparkly ribbon. It's like sequin ribbon. And I like bulky items, so this is just a wired flower. And I have my rub-ons and everything all ready to go. Now, something else that works really well is the felt with the, the felt matties with the stick-ons in the back. This sticks really great. And I just thought that this is a really cool project for cutting out photos. And I already cut out the photo of my daughter, um, who was the one that suggested this. And she's just such a sweetheart. I really wanted to anchor her sweetness into this rock. And really, and, and in this picture, I thought that she was... She just, it, it really shows her kind spirit. So what I did was I cut around, and for the purpose of the show, I, I pre-cut it. And I wanted to give you a tip, because a lot of times you can pre-cut out photos to put on little shadow boxes or picture frames or, or if you're decorating rocks. And what I like to do is I like to take a black marker and just go around the edges like this all the way around because what that does is it totally ties in the end and it adds a lot of depth and dimension and it doesn't leave those white edges on the end unless if you want it to be distressed but I just like the way that that, that look and so this is really this easy this is to anchor in her just her sweet demeanor and she was the one that handed me this rock specifically to um, create craft some kind of craft on it so I just really wanted to capture that they're always giving me ideas and I love it so here I'm just putting some glue dots on the back and you'll see that it's just it's totally adhered it's perfect and the ones that I created before the nothing has ever fallen off of them now rub-ons are just I love working with the rub-on on these and if you've ever gone to local craft uh, shows you may have seen people have done art with uh, with sketching on the back, and this is a really great way to get that effect. I find with these with the rub on. Now this is a basic gray white rub on, and I think it really stands out nicely on this rock. And so, as always, as I rub on this thing, a lot of times these. Uh, I find that the basic gray rub-ons can be a little challenging, and so it's really about applying as much pressure, and, and sometimes if you hold it in your hand before applying it, it comes off a lot easier. So all I'm doing here is, as I'm rubbing this, I'm just thinking about how what a sweetie she is and how I really hope that she carries that with her. Um, Ch children are, can be our greatest teachers. They really show us how to be in the moment and in the flow. And they're always, their imagination's always working. So there we go. Not the best um, rub on. But anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, layer this. And I have the word sweet from basic gray. And I'm just going to put this on the bottom here. And this is just to add some depth and dimension. So you can layer and layer um, these rub-ons with the melt felt matties, whatever you are drawn to do, to really um, decorate the rocks. And it's real fast and easy. And, and the rub-ons just stick wonderfully. 
So you don't really have to worry about them coming off uh, later or, or really scratching off because the girls, after I make these little rocks, they carry them around. They're so proud of them. And then they, um, besides maybe picking off the little crystals, <laughs> they haven't yet scratched off uh, a rub on. So here we go. There's a lot of humidity here today. My rub irons are not coming off as easy <laughs> as I thought, but it's just really hot and humid. So. And we don't have uh, air conditioning. All right. There we go. We got the word sweet there. And just to attach the, the ribbon, like I said, the glue dots are just perfect for adhering anything that you want. They, it's like, um, it's almost stronger than paper in a way. So I'm just going to put a couple glue dots on the back here instead of wet glue. I don't. I haven't tried wet glue on this, but I don't think it would work as well with the glue dots because they're so tacky. And here's a nice, cute gift that you can give anyone at Christmas time or whatever for their birthday. And we all know that we love to get gifts that are from the heart. And this is just another little expression of my heart of just ex ex acknowledging and appreciating her sweetness and expressing it the best I can through rock art and it's that easy. <laughs>